Hi, and welcome to this next screencast. Today we're going to talk about Turtle Graphics. Turtle Graphics is an interesting feature of Python that allows us to draw pictures and interesting shapes and patterns uh, right on our computer screen. Turtle Graphics is based on a very simple metaphor. Uh, imagine that you have a turtle on the floor in front of you that you can uh, control using English language. And you can tell your turtle to do simple things such as turn to the right, uh, turn to the left, go forward, back up, and so on. Now the interesting thing about these, this uh, turtle is that uh, its tail has been dipped in ink. And so if the tail is down uh, and the turtle is moving, the turtle leaves a line on the floor as it moves. Uh, if you tell your turtle to pick up its tail, uh, then as the turtle moves around, it doesn't leave a line. It's a pretty simple metaphor, but it's also pretty amazing uh, some of the complex drawings that we can do uh, with this simple set of commands. And although turtles are fun, um, the real purpose of this uh, chapter is just to kind of get started in using a little bit of Python. Now, one of the nice things about using turtles is that uh, it's easy to connect what you see in terms of the Python program uh, visually with what you see the turtle doing. So as you begin to develop a mental model of how uh, programming works and how the flow of control of a program goes, um, being able to connect the code uh, that you write with what you see happening on the screen is a good way to cement that in your, uh, in your brain. Okay, so let's start out with a few lines of uh, Python code. So we have that right here in this first example. Uh, you can see it's a six line program. And you might want to just look at that for a second um, and see if you can figure out what it's going to do. By looking at the last three lines, you might imagine that it's going to draw something sort of uh, shaped like an L. All right, so let's click on the Run button and just see exactly what happens. And so there we see we did um, we did create this sort of L-shaped drawing on the screen. Let's just go line by line though uh, through this little program so that we can get a better idea. So this first line here where we say import turtle, uh, in this line we are importing the turtle module. All right, so the module is the, is the fancy name for um, one of these libraries or modules of code um, that adds extra capabilities to Python. In line two, you'll see we have an assignment statement where we're assigning something turtle.screen to the variable wn. So turtle.screen uh, creates a graphics window. Um, in this webified version of Python, uh, turtle.screen really just uh, associates the variable with the canvas that we see um, already on the uh, already on the web page. The next line, turtle.turtle, .turtle simply creates um, simply creates a turtle and assigns that turtle to the name Alex. All right, so we've now got a screen, we've got a turtle, and then in lines four, five, and six. That's where the interesting things happen. So in line four, we invoke the method called forward, and we pass it the parameter 150. What this really means is that we've just told our turtle to go forward by 150 units. In the next line, we invoke the method named left, passing it a parameter of 90, and this tells our turtle Alex to turn left by 90 degrees. Finally, on line six, we invoke the forward method again, but this time we only tell Alex to go forward by 70. So again, if we run this, you'll see that series of steps happening. First, Alex goes forward uh, to the left 150, and then turns left, and then goes half that distance 75 uh, to the top. Okay. So a couple of very important things that um, we've kind of glossed over in that first example. So we've created a screen and we've created a turtle. Now, 
Both of those are Python objects. And Python objects have two very important aspects to them. They have methods, which as I've said, are things like uh, forward and write. And objects also have attributes. And attributes are things like uh, the color of the turtle, the position of the turtle on the canvas, uh, the width of the pen that the, the turtle is using uh, to draw, or the, the width of the turtle's tail, I guess would be a better, a better way to say that, and the heading of the turtle. So let's just sort of uh, back up for a second and rethink those first couple of, of lines. Uh, so when we create the screen, we can think of that screen creation as being something like uh, this. So we have the name WN and we're going to assign an object over here. In this case it's the screen object. We're going to assign this screen object to the variable WN. So we might draw that interactively like this. All right. Next thing we did was we created a turtle. Um, in the example you can see on the screen here, we called that turtle Alex. And we'll have the turtle Alex over here. All right. So you might think about these objects then as containing both the methods. So somewhere in this turtle object over here is a method to go forward or back. Um, also, we would have attributes for things like position. Right. So at any given time, there'd be some value. When the turtle is first created, its position is at 0, 0. Um, its color is black and typically when a turtle is first created its width is uh, two units, two pixels on your screen wide. All right. In this example down here we'll see that when we create a window we can set an attribute on that window uh, called its BG color. So here we might set BG color and in this case we're going to change that background color to light green. Okay. In this case, if we hop back over here, we're setting the turtle's color to blue. Notice that in this example we've given the turtle a new name, uh, Tess. Okay, so let's just run this and uh, see what happens. Okay, so a little bit different. We create the screen just as we did before, and in this case we set the background color to light green. We create a turtle. In this case we call it Tess. We set that turtle uh, color to blue. We set the pen size to three. You can see now that the pen, that the picture we draw has a little bit thicker line. And in this case, we have the turtle go forward 50, uh, goes left by 120, and then goes forward by 50 again. So we're kind of drawing a part of a triangle in this example. Okay, the final thing that I want to highlight here in this little section is that um, just like in a program that we saw in, in the previous chapter where we had uh, multiple numbers with different names, um, in, in, uh, in a turtle program we can have multiple turtles and each turtle can have their own can have their own name. So if we look at this program we are creating a screen again setting the background uh, to light green then we're creating a turtle called Tess so we might draw that over here to show that we have two separate turtles. We might actually draw the turtle or the name Tess 
and we'll have another turtle object over here and Tess refers to that turtle object all right but in this case you can see that we're setting Tess's color attribute to hot pink and then we create another turtle called Alex um, and in this case we're not changing anything about Alex's color we're gonna leave Alex's color at black all right now we can give the two turtles a different set of instructions we're gonna have Alex draw a square and we're gonna have Tess draw a triangle so if we run this you can see that's exactly what happens in fact uh, but now you can th the reason that that can happen that the two different turtles can draw two different shapes and it almost looks like they're doing things simultaneously here is because the position and color and width and heading and so on are all different are, are, are kept in the two separate objects one for Alex and one for Tess so what you might want to do is is sort of uh, draw this diagram out for yourself and then as the as you kind of trace through the program following the instructions line by line you might think about what is the position of Tess and write that in uh, Tess's box what is the position of Alex and write that in Alex's box so you can see how the program is able to keep those two things uh, separate from one another okay so we've covered some pretty important topics uh, in this little screencast we've covered the idea of a simple module we've talked a little bit about objects and how objects have names as well as methods and attributes and uh, finally we've talked about having multiple instances of something uh, each instance with its own name so thanks for listening